Hello, everyone. Welcome to another interesting time on mm -hmm. the show. Before I go further, I need to ask, how was your week? Mine was fantastic. Yeah, we had a great week, and I hope <laughs> you did, because it's going to be an awesome time on the show today, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really great rounding off the week with Metrofile, the best way to start your weekend. Of course. So, whatever it is you're doing right now, just get in here, because the show is about to start, yes. and trust me, you don't want to miss a Nothing. bit of anything on the show today. So welcome, all our viewers, wherever you're tuning in from around the world. If you're tuning in online, thank you very much for joining us on Metrofile. Let's remind our sensitive viewers, please watch out for flash photography. I'm Anne Wawadu. And I'm Ogit Kose, and we get right into it, spreading our love to the Asian city of Benin, where we go join the Isamo of Benin Kingdom, Sir Gabriel Osawari Benidio, and his family True. to celebrate his 83rd birthday. And that event, it was a two-day event. It brought yes. together guests from all over. They stormed Benin City, the adult state capital, for both events. Yeah, Chief Ibinidio is known to always mark his 80th birthday annually, so this year is just another year to celebrate. So take a look. It's a yearly tradition for the Asama of Benin Kingdom, Sir Gabriel Ibinidion, to celebrate his birthday. Chief Igwenedion, a respected traditional ruler, a knight of St. John, a serial businessman, a philanthropist, and most importantly, a family man has come together with his wife and other family members to the St. Gabriel the Archangel Catholic Church in Benin City to thank God for adding another year to his life. Looking happy and full of life, the celebrant could be seen moving to the rhythm of the song in appreciation of God's faithfulness in the last 83 years. The officiating rapping fathers have a gift for the celebrant and the 83-year-old energetically march forward for the presentation. It's a day to thank God, and he steps forward for the special thanksgiving. His son, the former governor of Edo State, Chief Lucky Igwenedion, thanks everyone on behalf of the family. And with that, the event came to a close.
The next day, September the 11th, which is the date of his birthday, the celebrant had a morning dew service in his residence. Also joining them here are dignitaries like the former governor of the state, Otumba Gwenga Daniel, former Senate President Anyin Pius Ayin, the former Deputy Senate President Ibrahim Mantu, Edo State PDP governorship candidate Osage Ize Yamu, veteran music maestro Sir Victor Owaifo, Reverend Flix of Mobude, and the celebrant's daughter, who is a member of the House of Representatives, of Mosede Igbenidion, royal fathers, as well as other well-meaning guests. It was indeed a day of praise and worship. The celebrant stepped out and began his reading with a song of thanksgiving. The celebrant and his guests moved to the other part of the house to cut his cake. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thus we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns within the unity of the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Happy birthday. This summer is a legend. All I can tell Nigerians, men and women, we should appreciate our own. We should pray for our leaders. We should appreciate what we have. If you don't value what you have, somebody else will help you devalue it. This is a man that has accomplished so very much at the age of 83. Um, what he has accomplished today, uh, I, I don't see anyone that you know can, can match that. Uh, it gives him so much joy to celebrate his birthday with people every year. To be able to witness today, I thank God and each day of my life. I thank God that each and every one that came here today, they also went back safely without a mishap. What a glorious God. The story of Sir Gabriel Ibenedion is an inspiring one of hard work and dedication which saw him rise from grass to grace, owning businesses in different sectors like aviation, education, media, real estate, road transport, farming and more, which has made him a major employer of labor. He sits on the board of reputable organizations and has all the awards, laurels and recognitions to show for his years of business exploits. 
For the large family and children who have achieved in their own rights, this great man says he has no other joys but to continue to use the occasion of his birthday annually to thank God. Here's wishing him a happy birthday. You know what, for his three, you can see that he looks very energetic, full of life, happy, and indeed fulfilled, you can see that God has really been kind yes, to him. Yes, and I say that is how you rock 83. Of course. <laughs> All right, I would say congratulations to him.